Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing two simple floral projects that feature die cutting and hot foiling, and I am going to be using a new collection from Spellbinders. This is the Anemone Blooms collection. This is by Yana Smakula, a friend of mine, and I just think these florals are so beautiful. Now, the thing I love about this collection is that there is a variety of different types of products. So we have a hot foil plate here along with a shadow die. This is a die, so it cuts a very intricate anemone design and also has a outline piece as well. There are some sentiments in this collection, including the Hello Friend hot foil plates, the wonderful script sentiments. This is a die set and these coordinate together. So some of the dies in this collection will cut out the hot foiled sentiments that are in the Hello Friend collection. And then there are some inside greetings that you can use on the inside or the outside of your card. And those are some hot foil plates. Now I'm going to start by doing some die cutting and I am using my Spellbinders Platinum 6 with the universal cutting plate system. So I have the platform, which is A, the platform top, which is B, and C, the cutting plate. Now I have some mirror gold foil from Spellbinders and the anemone etch dies here. And I am going to cut the detail piece from the mirror gold cardstock and the shadow layer from some vellum. So I've finished off my die cutting sandwich with a second cutting plate, which is C. And I've just cranked that through my platinum six. And you can see I have a beautiful shadow layer. And this piece here is just a stunner. Now I've seen some projects that include some kind of die cut inlay with this that are just absolutely beautiful. I am going to use it on its own layered on top of the shadow because I just think there is something so gorgeous about the intricacy of this die cut. So you can see how those layer on top of each other. And I am going to create a window card with this. So this was my first idea when I saw this collection of products was to create this beautiful window card. I am using some A2 rectangle dies from Spellbinders and die cutting a piece of blue spruce cardstock. And so I have a nice card front panel here. And then I will use a circle die to die cut a window from this panel. So you can see I have a nice large window. I chose my circle based on the size of the die cut that I'm using. Now this is kind of an optional. If you want to make this an all die cutting card or if you want to use a stamp here instead, you totally could if hot foil is not your thing. But I'm going to use one of these inside sentiments and I am taping it onto my card front and creating a hinge using the Spellbinders Best Ever Craft Tape. Now when I am creating a hinge on my foil projects, I love this tape because the heat from my glimmer machine does not transfer the adhesive to my project. So once I have that hot foil plate placed on my card front and taped in place, I flipped it back. I added my champagne colored hot foil. Then I flipped it back down into place and placed it onto my glimmer platform and set the timer. Now, once the timer's done, that timer light will be solid instead of blinking. I can remove the platform from the base and run that through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And that's going to apply pressure and press the foil onto my card project. Now I'm carefully going to pull the hot foil plate off of my card front. And then I'm going to pull the backer from the foil. Now all of this foil has kind of a clear carrier sheet that you're gonna wanna remove. I couldn't get my finger underneath it. <laughs> So I use that hot foil plate to kind of slide underneath to lift the corner. And you can see I have this beautiful foiled sentiment on my card front. Now, like I said, if you want to skip foiling on this card project, you could definitely create it with just the die cutting because the other part of my sentiment is going to be a die cut as well, which is this beautiful friend word. And that friend word is from the Anemone Blooms hot foil plate or glimmer plate set. Now I have die cut four of this friend word from some beautiful pink cardstock and I wanna stack them up, but these are super intricate. I don't use spray adhesive a lot, but in this case I was like, I need to get this done. <laughs> 
So I brought in my glue box and a piece of scrap paper. I sprayed it with some Elmer's spray adhesive. Three of those I sprayed with adhesive on the front side. And I am just going to stack them up using my tweezers. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that this friend die is gorgeous, but it also includes a shadow layer that I'm not using today. So I did want to point that out. Now, once I stacked up the three that have adhesive on the front side, I'm going to take the fourth one that has no adhesive at all and layer that on the top. Then I'm just going to make sure that all of the edges of this intricate sentiment die are aligned. And once I have everything in place, I'm going to just set that aside with some acrylic blocks over the top to make sure that everything stays in good contact while that adhesive dries. So now I'm going to work on the card front itself and attaching this beautiful anemone die cut. So I have the shadow layer and I'm kind of weaving it in and out of this circle window here. And I held it in place with a little piece of that best ever craft tape on the front of the card while I flipped it over to add some glue behind the areas where it overlaps the back of the card. Then I am going to take this gorgeous gold die cut and I'm going to add a little more spray adhesive. I had it out, so I went ahead and used it onto the back of this die cut. And I'll line that up with the shadow layer and press it into place. I just added a couple of acrylic blocks over the top of that while it kind of sets up. And I flipped it over and to add some color to this vellum, just in the areas where the petals of the flowers are, I used an alcohol ink marker. So I, it kind of creates this really beautiful, almost watercolor effect. And then I decided I wanted the insides of these flowers or the middles to be dark. So I used a warm gray alcohol ink marker to do that. Now I am using the January embossing folder of the month from Spellbinders and I am going to emboss a panel of white cardstock. So in order to do that with the universal plate system, I have the platform A, I have the platform top, which is B and one C cutting plate. I have wiped the cardstock with a baby wipe before placing it into the embossing folder and I topped off that embossing folder with just one of the C cutting plates and ran that through my platinum six and I have perfect embossing on this white cardstock, no cracking because I prepped the surface of that cardstock with a damp baby wipe. So now it's time to just layer everything up and embellish this card. I added that panel with the window on it over the top of the embossed panel using some foam adhesive. And then I added that onto an A2 size card with some glue, liquid glue, because that embossed panel needs that liquid glue so that it can really stick to that flat surface below it. I added that friend die cut and finished it off with some iridescent, really beautiful kind of creamy colored embellishments from Spellbinders. And that finishes off my first card for today. Now for the second card, I want to use this Anemone Blooms Glimmer Plate. And I want it to kind of come in from the corner of my card front. So I cut some white cardstock. I used some A2 layering dies from Spellbinders to do that. And I'm going to allow this floral image to kind of bleed off of that upper left-hand corner on this card project. So I've taped it in place using that Best Ever craft tape once again, creating a hinge, and now I am adding the champagne foil. Now, I wanted to show you this process. I actually ended up doing something a little different with this. <laughs> But I wanted to show you that this was where my original idea was heading. And then I kind of messed everything up and had to kind of go with plan B. So I added the glimmer plate onto the platform, set my timer. And when the timer was done, I went ahead and removed the platform from the base, ran that through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And now I threw this glimmer plate onto my glass mat because that helps disperse the heat really quickly and allows the plate to kind of cool off. Now, I tried to take it off, but I was burning my fingers. <laughs> so I just worked on this sentiment while that kind of cooled off on my glass mat, and then I'll do the peel and reveal. But right now, I'm working on a sentiment using that beautiful, scripty, wonderful sentiment hot foil plate. And you can see I have beautiful results using this Anemone Blooms Glimmer Plate. 
Now here is a look at that wonderful sentiment hot foiled onto some white cardstock. For my finished card project, I actually ended up hot foiling all of this on some colored cardstock. So I'm gonna do that again. I actually had kind of torn the cardstock that I originally foiled on. I kind of ripped up a piece of that because I wasn't very careful when I removed some tape. And so I'm kind of having to go with plan B. So I'm going to go with the same type of layout. But I hot foiled this onto some pink cardstock. And I wanted to die cut that floral image to where it matched the edge of that white cardstock that I already created. So I temporarily held it in place onto that cardstock panel. And now I am taping the same A2 layer die in place that I used to cut the panel in the first place. Now you'll notice that I originally had put my tape over the edge of that colored cardstock and then I decided that probably wasn't the wisest move so I did move that to where I could remove that tape and it wouldn't damage my hot foil floral image here when I removed it. I just, I use a little caution when I'm using tape over my hot foiled images. So I created a new white cardstock panel. I ink blended a little bit of sea glass ink onto that and I added this floral image in the upper left hand corner. I decided to make this a horizontal or landscape card. I hardly ever create landscape cards, but this one just seemed to work. And then I had hot foiled this wonderful sentiment onto that same pink cardstock, and I stacked up three layers of plain white die cuts behind it to give it some dimension. And I added this UR hot foil sentiment. I foiled that onto the blue spruce cardstock right above that wonderful die cut sentiment, stacked it up on some blush pink cardstock with some foam adhesive, and then placed that onto a landscape A2 size card and that finishes off my second card project. I am going to embellish it with those same embellishments, but I love these floral cards because I feel like they can be used for any occasion. For instance, I think this would make a wonderful, no pun intended, <laughs> Mother's Day card. So here's a look at the two completed projects, beautiful floral images featuring both die cutting and hot foiling. They can be used for any occasion throughout the year. And I hope you'll check out this new Anemone Blooms collection from Yana Smakula and Spellbinders. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're versatile. And I think you might need them in your stash. <laughs> Now, as always, I will include links to the featured products used in these projects in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there, or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I'll have that linked in the YouTube description as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, a complete list of supplies, and more inspiration featuring die cuts, stamping, hot foiling, you name it, it's there. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me today. I am so glad you're here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed these projects. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials that I share here. Be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know which of these two cards is your favorite. Thanks again for stopping by and watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.